293 miles per hour. That's not just fast, it's history in motion, because the world just witnessed a Chinese electric hypercar, the BYD Yangwang U9 Track Edition, shatter the record books and claim the crown as the fastest EV ever built. Faster than the Rimac Nevera, faster than Tesla's overhyped Roadster, faster than anything the West has dared to deliver. But here's the twist. This wasn't supposed to happen. BYD, the company once known for building budget EVs and taxis, has now built a machine with nearly 3,000 horsepower, capable of speeds that put Bugatti and Koenigsegg on notice. So, how did a Chinese automaker pull off what the rest of the world thought was impossible? Stay tuned, because the story of the BYD Yangwang U9 Track Edition isn't just about speed, it's about power pride, and a future where the supercar throne may never belong to Europe again. Before we dive in, make sure to smash that subscribe button. On this channel, we don't just review cars, we unravel the machine's rewriting history. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. August 8th, 2025, ATP Automotive Testing Track, Poppenberg, Germany. Veteran racing driver Mark Bassing strapped into a car most dismissed as just another Chinese EV. Moments later, history was made. The BYD Yangwang U9 Track Edition roared down the straight, its four electric motors screaming in perfect harmony. And then, the numbers flashed. 293 miles per hour, 472.4 kilometers per hour, a new world record for an electric vehicle. For context, the Rimac Nevera, long considered the EV speed king, tops out at 258 miles per hour. Tesla's Roadster, still stuck in Elon's tweets, and the Koenigsegg Agera RS, an internal combustion icon, peaked at 277 miles per hour in 2017. But today, a BYD hypercar from China blasted past them all. This wasn't just a record, it was a warning shot to the rest of the world. China isn't following anymore, it's leading. Let's talk raw numbers, because the U9 Track Edition isn't just fast, it's terrifying. Under the hood, or should I say under the floor, sits a quad motor setup. Each motor delivers an insane 555 kilowatts or 743 horsepower. Multiply that by four, and you're staring at nearly 3,000 horsepower. That's enough to put most hypercars in the grave, but here's the real secret. BYD's proprietary E4 platform combined with the Dysus X body control system. This setup gives the U9 godlike control, adjusting suspension, torque vectoring, and aerodynamics in real time. Result, a car that doesn't just accelerate like a rocket, it stays planted at speeds that would tear most cars apart. But power is only half the story. The U9 Track Edition doesn't just perform, it looks like it was carved by the gods of speed. At the front, razor-sharp LED headlights pierce the night like laser beams. The hood is sculpted with deep air channels, guiding precious cooling air into the motors and brakes. From the side, the stance is wide, low, and muscular. The butterfly doors rise dramatically, giving the U9 the presence of a fighter jet unfolding its wings. Every line, every intake, every curve screams aggression. At the back, a carbon fiber rear wing and race bread diffuser engineered not for looks, but for survival at 293 miles per hour. The forged alloy wheels wrapped in semi-slit GT track tires hide massive carbon ceramic brakes ready to tame this monster. Inside, the drama continues. Step in and you're surrounded by Alcantara, carbon fiber, and digital brilliance. A wraparound cockpit of high-resolution displays floods you with data, G-forces, torque split, battery temps, like sitting in an F1 car. The flat-bottom steering wheel puts launch controls and drive modes at your fingertips, while paddle selectors adjust regen braking on the fly. But unlike stripped-down racers, the U9 pampers you. Racing bucket seats sculpted for comfort, ambient lighting flowing like neon veins across the cabin, and yes, even a Dirac 3D immersive sound system. Because apparently, BYD wants you to enjoy your music while you're flirting with the edge of physics. This isn't just a car, 
it's a spaceship disguised as a supercar. Of course, none of this matters if the battery melts after two minutes. That's where BYD's genius shows. The U9 Track Edition runs on a 1200-volt ultra-high-voltage system, twice what most EVs use. This means faster charging, more efficient power delivery, and most importantly, thermal stability at insane speeds. And then there's the torque vectoring. Imagine each wheel having its own brain, deciding how much power it needs every millisecond. That's how the U9 stays straight while blasting to 293 miles per hour. The Desus X suspension even has party tricks. It can jump, literally leap off the ground in demos. That's not a gimmick, that's engineering so advanced it borders on arrogance. So, how does this beast stack up against the competition? Rimac Nevera, 1914 horsepower, 258 miles per hour, respectable but outgunned and outpaced. Tesla Roadster, prototype, promised 250 plus, but still stuck in development hell. Koenigsegg Agera Absolute, claimed 330 miles per hour, but unproven on track. Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus, 304 miles per hour, the combustion king, for now. The Yangwang U9 Track Edition isn't just competing, it's breathing down Bugatti's neck. For the first time ever, an EV has entered the legendary 300 mile per hour conversation. So tell me, who breaks 300 miles per hour first? BYD, Tesla, Rimac, or Bugatti? Comment your pick below. I'll be watching the debate unfold. Here's the bigger picture. For decades, speed was Europe's playground. Bugatti, Ferrari, Koenigsegg, they defined performance. America had its challengers with Hennessy, Tesla, Ford GT, but China? Dismissed as copycats, makers of cheap city cars. Not anymore. In less than a decade, China went from underdog to building the fastest EV on Earth. The Yangwang U9 Track Edition isn't just a car, it's a symbol of a power shift, a declaration that the future of automotive dominance might not be to Europe or America, but to China. So what's next? BYD hasn't even started deliveries yet. This was just the prototype, meaning there's room to go faster. Rumors are already suggesting a street legal version aiming past 300 miles per hour. If that happens, the BYD logo could be on the first EV to break the holy barrier. Meanwhile, Rimac, Tesla, and Koenigsegg are surely plotting their revenge. We're at the dawn of a new arms race, one not of gasoline, but electrons. So here we are. The BYD Yangwang U9 Track Edition, an EV that just hit 293 miles per hour and rewrote the rule book of speed. The question now is, do you see this as a historic shift or just a flashy stunt? Because if this is the start of something bigger, then the age of Bugatti and Koenigsegg may be fading, and the age of BYD has just begun.